Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Half-Life Blue Shift. And we got a new screen here. Ooh, looking all cool and stuff. So, just figured I'd go ahead and uh, start this off with the training session this time, since I didn't do that in the last one. I don't know if um, Mr. Calhoun, which we'll be playing as this time, will be uh, performing any differently. But we are on the hazard course currently. So, uh, is there game sound? Don't hear anything. Nope, there we go. Okay, now I'm hearing stuff. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guard Training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Thank Whenever you. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. Well, thank you. The majority of stuff I'll probably not need to know, but uh, Here I will... you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Oh, that's new. Huh. So there's no regenerating, uh, shields. You have to find- Oh, That's cool! So this is gonna be going back to more Doom, like actual Doom style. That's neat. I like that. I like that a lot. And also what I don't like is the fact that the game is deafening me. Give me a second. I'll turn this down. Okay, good. I am no longer deafened. My ears are no longer ringing. This is good. Also, before I go on, pardon any weird lighting effects. I'm recording this later at night and that is my room light over there. So pardon if the recording looks weird. Sorry. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. That echo. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. Corner, 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 corner. Sorry. Um, I think I'm pretty much good to go there, man. What else have you got here for me? Doors just will not open for me. It's just... It's just the way of life. Doors are always the one thing that I just cannot get past. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get yeah, over... Yeah, 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 okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Please proceed to the next room. Oh, uh, hi, how you doing up there? Taking notes? Well, good, because I'm about to show you how to really pass the course. Oh, look at how difficult this is. You know, the whole reason I started the training course here is because I thought it would be introducing something Very new, good. which it did. I hardly noticed it. On to the next area. Well, you must be entirely blind if you couldn't notice me rocking through there. Guy in bright blue outfit with armor and a crash helmet. Yeah, I thinking I'm pretty noticeable. Now and hi. Dap. Yep. And yep. You look prepared for the next Would you say that I am, in fact, prepared? I'm just pouring on the wow jokes, aren't I? To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Duck jump, you duck jump. Right at the mouth of the I got caught in the funnel apparently. Whoopsie. And I'm we it's weird that we call it that they're calling it the duck jump now when it's I've always called it the crouch jump. Oh, no. Something new. Whatever shall I do? Hap. You know, I have expected myself to like smack my face first into the wall and just utterly screw that up and make myself look like a bigger idiot than before. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. All right, so just walk into the ladder, you said. Ow. Oh, oh. I was I had a joke prepared and everything and I I didn't I thought that I'd had to look up to start climbing. Well, that's me being dumb. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't oh. worry if you miss the last one a few times. Just climb up and do it again. You'll have if a few broken bones, but no big deal. Continuous run, you're doing just fine. If you have no broken shins, then hey, mission accomplished. Can't promise that you won't, but you know you're doing great out there. Yeah, I gotta wonder how many people uh, use that old Black Mesa health insurance on the training course. To I'd like to see some lift, records. Walk up to the button and press the use key while facing it. It's glowing. The button was freaking glowing. <laughs> Can we get a replay on that? I don't know why that makes me so tickled. It just... Y'all seeing what I'm seeing, right? Uh... How good's the health insurance here? I want to get over there. I want to see what's going on over there. Um... Here, there's only 
only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may yeah. take some damage from the fall, but don't worry <laughs> about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next section. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> go, yeah, go ahead. Drop 20 feet down on the ground. Ah, you'll break your legs, but hey, you'll be good. <laughs> Seriously? There's bloody handprints on the wall. I, oh my gosh. Wow. This just further cements my opinion that Black Mesa was the absolute worst place to work and absolutely deserved to get nuked. You know what? I'm not going to fall onto the target. That's a really dumb idea. Well, I guess that's, that's what I get for trying to be smart. All right, then fine. I'll play your sadistic little game. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, Walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. It's glowing your again. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. All right, thank you very much. Nom 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 nom. You'll find HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. Bing. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment. So, they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. Thank you, I figured that out. Alright, now... Door, seriously, how many times do I have to slam my face into you before you let me go? Gotta sneeze again. Nope. Alright. Mm. Sorry about that. Allergies. Hate them. To spin that bridge, walk yeah, whoa, up to what, the what? control wheel and press the use key. You walk down- when you walk backwards down this thing, you just start bouncing down it. Alright then. Sorry, I was paying more attention to that than what this guy was saying. Something to do with turning things with valves and such, and yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Now, I'm going to be a bit stupid and jump over here, see if there's any other, uh... Hazardous necessities that Black Mesa has great to job. offer its trainees. Great job! You're doing great! I mean, words of encouragement are important after Sometimes all. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. I what see what you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Thank push you. Uh, is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push it into position. Uh, I, I was I, I accidentally like fell into the th I got no joke for that. I, I was just a dummy. Moving on now. Push an obstacle out of the way. You might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to oh. it and press your use key. While holding down the use key. Hey. Whoa! What the fuck? I didn't pull it that way. I. <laughs> okay. Apparently, Mr. Calhoun has elastic hands. Either that, or his hands just would. You know. You, you know when G mod when somebody starts like like a, a model just starts like uh, fusing with the land, it just starts going like. I, I have a feeling that's what happened to Mr. Calhoun's hands there. All right then. And by the way, the only thing I know about Blue Shift is you do play as Mr. Barney Calhoun, and that's it, so. Apparently, though, on Steam it's recorded I have 51 minutes of this played, and I do not remember that, so... Okay. And I never actually- I've never actually played through the uh, training simulator on either- on either version, so... Can I hit Pick you? Robot and smash your way through the boxes. Well, I can certainly do smashing. Come on, come here, you. Ha ha! Your boxes, your plywood and wood, and other sorts of wood are no match for metal and steel and man. All right, now what do I do here? I can I I can never get past this part. I I I'm I'm having some trouble here, guys. Okay, it says crouch. And then break. Oh, there we go. Right, onward. That that was a dumb joke. I'm sorry. You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. If by flashlight you mean single piece of ground that's illuminated wherever I point the cursor, then yes. The source the source version of the game had a much better flashlight. And I am looking forward to going and playing uh, Black Mesa as well. Can I break the table? Ha 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 ha! You should not have given me this. This is a tool of destruction that I shall use to my fullest. Ha 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 ha! And you have absolutely nothing to say to that, really? The trainee has just gone berserk and started breaking everything. It's it. Does this happen often? Who do you hire here at Black Mesa? I gotta wonder. Yes, uh... 
totally needed to use my flashlight in here. I could see those platforms Great. just fine. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time. Yes, so yes, 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 yep, 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 yep. Onward, onward, onward. Open, damn it! I am your master here. I am Barney Calhoun. I almost said Gordon Freeman. Master of doorways. Please let me Welcome through. To the Black Mesa training target range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. Here you'll- I don't know, the way he just said that made me, made me uh, a little happy, I guess. Here you'll get a chance to fire, reload, fire again, and destroy your fellow man all in the same night. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. Let's do this! If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. All right. Well, thank you. I do that anyway. Now, the grenade launcher. Use the alternate fire button. I will Some fire this on you and shut you up if you don't start this. Grenades. I'll start the sequence in thank five, you. four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to. Oh, sorry. That's how I start off all of my videos. Where? Oh. My aiming is terrible. Eh. Oh, I thought I had to shoot the three up there. Where is it? Ah, <laughs> I see you. Where is it? That's it. I get it. My aiming is good. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. This is not un. Oh, it's oh, it's unbreakable. Black Mesa training target range. Whoops. To the next area. It's unbreakable. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, well, uh, I'm not a particularly pr uh, perfectionist when it comes to the training course, so I'm gonna just keep on going. display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. Whee! Downward we go. What the- Okay, Black Mesa apparently has some very impressive hologram technology. Gotta give him that. Health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Thank you, thank you. On to the next section. All right, onward we go, please. Downward, throughward we go. Up. This may just end up being a prologue episode because this is actually taking a little bit. Can I get into here? I can. Is there anything up here? There isn't! Ah, oh, that's disappointing. That would be a great place to stash a secret. See who decides to jump through here. But now I have the problem of not being able to get back over. Well, down we go, breaking my shins. Oh, I didn't this time. Okay, cool. Even though I landed on the stairs, in which in real life you would probably break your ankles in 12 different ways. Thank you! I am very much aware! Ow. Apparently I'm not aware enough because I just got hit by it. Duck under this. That's gonna spew fire. Ah! <laughs> that, le <laughs> that, that legitimately made- that legitimately- leg Fuck! That legitimately made me jump. I can't speak right now. <laughs> that wasn't even a jump scare that made me jump. <laughs> I, I just- I, di I didn't expect it to explode. I expected it to just kind of spew fire out like Pfft. I didn't expect it to explode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does that happen often in this training course? How many people make it through this? Uh, how many- where are all the dead bodies you're hiding in the walls here? Oh, I just noticed the Geiger counter's kind of going nuts. Also, door, please? Why is this not opening? I, I got through here, didn't I? Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your home. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in the display. Okay, whatever, it's open now. I guess I didn't spec I guess I didn't step on the specific pixel to get through. You gotta be kidding me. In your How often are your employees jumping over radioactive pits? Please proceed to the next section. The voice of God calls to you to proceed to the next section. Or at least that's what I assume that was, because of how freaking echoey it is in there. And that is a cue for my future self to put my voice on reverb. Thank you very much, future me.
Do I have to shoot things to get you to work? Because I will. I am just that type of person. Okay, apparently I had to hit the top of it. I don't know. This whole place technology is just kind of a little bit wonky. Uh-oh. Hey! My gun! I wanted that. Lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. You, approach the person and press your... Thank you very much. Now, please do as you are told, robot. Do you have anything interesting to say? Eh. No? Alright then. Goodness, it takes you a long time to use that. Hey, my old ride. Okay, that thing is visibly sparking. Can we get the maintenance team down there to see if we have a crossed wire or something? Jeez. Press your use key to engage the train. Onward we go for glory and just- Ooh, the UI is blue this time. I just now noticed that- How did I just now notice that? I only noticed it when that thing down there is- You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Oh, uh, that's where blue shift comes from. Okay, I thought it was just like the shift as in a work shift and you're wearing blue. All right. Uh, well, with that said, um, we're not done yet. We're gonna get. We're gonna go ahead and get started a little bit, and um, hopefully, the frick am I talking about here? Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So let's go. Skip ahead. Never mind. Good we're already good. And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Ooh. This automated train is provided for the comfort and convenience of Black Mesa residents and visitors to the Black Mesa Research Facility. I love this game. I love this game so much. Hi up there. How you doing? Hey, transit babe, you want to shut up? I'm trying to. I'm trying to speak. Sorry. I respect you, but you're being loud. I got, I, honestly though, I got, I got, I don't have a whole lot to say. I, I just like sitting here and letting the game do its thing and being quiet while it's going. So you know what? I'm just gonna do that for a little bit. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Well, that's a new animation. That's cool. Until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Hang on, they have a freaking arcade game in the laundry room. <laughs> I want to work here now. Well, not really, because it's still terrifying, but come on, they have a freaking arcade game in the laundry room. That's awesome. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. I got nothing to say. I, I'm just enjoying the ride. Destination is a high security area beyond Sector C. You will need to board yeah, sorry, a stretching. security train at the Central Transit Hub. If you have not yet submitted your Oh, that's cool. You must oh, come on. That Okay. You know what? Black Mason may have an absolutely horrific uh, health record, health and safety record rather, but they got some awesome recreation. I mean, would you who would want to eat out there? That that looks awesome. Security lines. You may do so before you reach the Central Transit Hub. At the area nine security check. Cracking my knuckles. Sorry. Access to the medium security branch of the transit system is for employees of the Black Mesa Research Facility and authorized visitors only. It requires that you wear your security badge at all times. Move the camera over just a little bit. Hello, Bino. Friend like you. Man. Hey, Calhoun. Looks like we're in for a long day today. Have a good one, Calhoun. Have a good one, Calhoun. I am also very big and I... <laughs> oh, God. I did the wrong accent. I am very sorry. Now I suddenly sound very racist. I am so sorry. I was just trying to imitate him and I ended up doing an, an, an accent I didn't mean to. Okay, that's going to break at some point or another. Either that or it's going to electrocute the entire freaking car. Disaster response prayer. I have been reading this. I, I am very sorry.
Wait, is it saying that? Wait, is that is that the priorities of the guards? Security facilities. Huh. You know, it's funny. I actually work as a security guard. Um, so we're all we. It's it, it's just weird. It's weird to see this from a, from a game's point of view. Ah, here we go. And now, if you'll kindly. Can't even go to work without doors giving me lip. Hold on a minute. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Let of course it's not. It open on this side. <sighs> Might as well wait. <laughs> Military tech always works. Oh, hey, Gordon. How's it going? Just kind of jittering about right there? Cool. I do that all the time. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. There, Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. You know, this guy sir, this guy shares my sentiments. I think I'm going to get along with him just fine. I just got to look at the screen. The lighting looks so freaking weird right now. I am very sorry. I ha I have like a purple face at the moment. <laughs> this lighting is not is not conducive. Very very sorry. Hi. Just gonna stand in there all Superman-like? You like your job, I tell. I, I tell. I can tell. Alright, moving onward. Uh, let's see here. Well, this is- oh, uh, I was gonna say this is an odd place for a recliner. But- or couch, rather. But, eh, this is like a break room. Okay, can I mess with this? No. You deny me my- you deny me the simple joys in life. Alright, I'm getting sidetracked. I just- I like to do this when I play these kind of games. I like to just go around and explore and see what all the place has to- has to offer. I like to do that. Training saves lives. Apparently not my own, because my own personal welfare- well- where- Eh! My own personal welfare is apparently, uh, lowest priority. I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time to- Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy, and I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. What a dick! Christ! Yeah, I'm not- I'm, I'm not- I, I, I was not able to save any scientists before. I'll make sure I don't save you, asshat. All right then. Oh, what do you got to say for yourself? Sorry, Calhoun. I'm on duty. All right then. Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Oh well. Yeah, boy. yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. You got nothing else? It sounded like you had more to say. Okay then. Let's see where this takes me. The bathroom. Wonderful. How you doing there? You want to talk? Want to have a nice chit chat? Nope. All right then. Uh, oh, okay, awesome. So I could find my own stuff in here. Gotcha. Cool. You know what's interesting is that's optional. Okay, hang on a second. All right, I'm assuming that's like his. I'm assuming that's like a developer. Um, I have no idea what's going on there. The truth about aliens, government conspiracies. Okay, so <laughs> Barney's a nut job. All right then. <laughs> I I'm sorry, I like doing this. I like just going around and exploring a little bit. Alright, this is these are the showers. Cool. Alright, alright, alright. That's enough, that's uh -oh, enough screwing about. Oh. Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? Why don't I come in here and see what I can do to your face? I don't know. Alright then, uh, I guess I'll... Uh... Main access lift. Is this it? I assume I gotta go this way. Already, I gotta say, I, I do like the visual changes that that you see, the visual differences that you see on your way to the Black Mesa, that, um, yeah, and you see on your way to Black Mesa as Barney than you did in Gordon. I like the changes already, it's pretty cool. Enter. Enter. Gimme. Okay. What's in here? So I can just, like, kind of roam about and go into the surveillance room if I want to. Oh, that is awesome! Oh, that is so cool! You could look through the you could look through the surveillance cameras. That's neat. Does it just show pre pre rendered stuff? I guess so. 
What's he do? What the heck is he doing over there? I, is he holding? He's holding a donut. What? Is he dancing with it? Is he doing like a slow dance with the freaking donut? All right then. There's a man who appreciates his pastry. Good morning, Gordon. Man, a few words. That man. That redundant sentence. Redundant. Redundant. <laughs> redundant. Okay, sure. We'll go with it. Hey, come on, door, go. <sighs> hate allergies. <sighs> uh, hate this time of year very much. Very much hate it. All right, we're going to the armory now. Let me pick myself up my weapon. My weapon of choice, which happens to be anything that shoots bullets. I'm okay with this at the moment. Hello. How's Hi. How's it going? I don't know. How you doing Here over you there? Go, Calhoun. Thank you. All right. I you know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. All right then. Let's go ahead and do this just before we move on. We'll go ahead and end the episode right after this one, and then we'll get started. All right. Uh, just pick up the extra ammo here. These people were just kind of laying around. What in the hell are you doing? He's not even okay. I saw like crumbs flaking off of his mouth there, but he's not even eating it. He's like. He is literally dancing with that donut. Okay, this is a man who absolutely loves his pastries. Okay, either that or there's something wrong with his model and his arms just kind of hanging off to the side like... Alright, whatever. Let's do a little bit... Oh, there's some ammo here, didn't even notice. Alright, let's do a little bit of this. I... <laughs> Whoops, apparently I forgot how shooting ranges work. Okay, back out you go. Let's see if I can do this right... And bullseye. Nope. Bullseye. Nope. Bullseye. Nope. Bullseye. There we go. And headshot. Bam, 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 bam. Wasting an entire clip because I feel like it. All right. Clearly, I'm the most terrible shot in the world. All right. This is a surprise to absolutely nobody. All right, all right, all right. I think we're good to go now, folks. So... Now that we've done, uh, now that we're done kind of messing about, let's go ahead and get the story started, and then I'll go ahead and end the episode, and we'll pick it up next time. I feel really good right now. I'm just, I'm happy to be back recording things on a regular schedule after I had to go out of town for about a weekend. I was at my stepsister's wedding, so, uh, well, that was last weekend, though. But still, I'm happy to be getting back, my, getting myself back into a schedule. I think, uh, was it Markiplier that said this? That YouTube is never the stress. It's everything outside of that that always gets you stressed out. It's, this is always a passion and a joy to do, and it is. So, I'm happy to be back, I'm happy to be doing it again. Alright, they said they were having trouble with the access lift, so let's go back over here. I believe this is the right way. Uh, I don't know. I am confused already. Hi. Have a good one, Calhoun. Well, you sound extremely enthused. Funnily enough, how most security officers sound when they're on duty. I wonder if I should run that test again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he had something. To, I thought he had something important to sow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Perhaps. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right. Yes, this should help. I think you did something. Just don't fry yourself. Right. Let uh oh. Me help you. Okay. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course. Theoretically. Oh. Theoretically? Oh, this ain't gonna. You smell Missing. something burning? Yes. Right. Let's try this. Okay, that is why you lead the freaking electricity to the professionals, you idiot. I should shoot you in the brain right now. You almost blew this guy's head off. Do you have any idea what to do next? I couldn't even venture to guess. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna freaking leave Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and Tweedledee Little Do down there. Just go on my or just go on my merry little way. Okay. <laughs> Things are exploding. Not a if good you're sign. Waiting for the tram to sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Problems. Replay that and like give us some kind of creepy music while it's slowed down for some reason. Just to appease me. Problems. All right then. Uh I'm just literally walking to places. I don't know where I'm going at this point. I think I'm going the right way. This usually happens, and I usually end up going the right way. 
Except at this point in time. I have no crowbar. I have no melee weapon of any kind. Alright, alright, alright. We're skipping back to when I find the right way to go. Sorry about this, folks. I'm just kind of wandering everywhere. But yeah, fast forward. This door just opens, doesn't it? What the? Let go of that. Let go of it. It, duh. That's dark. That is very dark. Okay. Don't like dark places. Get me out of here, please. Thank you. Alright, well, if I was walking down there in real life, I probably would have just turned tail, walked right back the other way, and just waited for maintenance to get the whole thing finished myself. I guess the science- I guess we're taking that, those, that, uh, that scientist's word literally. We're just gonna go ahead and walk the rest of the way. Oh, uh, well, hi there, jittering about G-Man. You okay over there? Alright, bye. Alright, then. Probably on his way to go stock Gordon. You wanna... Okay, I had to press the button again. Sorry about that. On my way to go to work. Alright. Have it to trek across half the entire facility on foot just to get to my post, apparently. Oh, I'm already seeing flashbacks. To last well, series. It's about time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Make this thing work so we can get on with this miserable day. I am very tempted to shoot you, but I will not do that because I am a good person. Contrary to popular belief. Okay, did you idiots try pressing a freaking button? Scientists, my ass, you're all freaking idiots. Once again, elevator music. Oh no. It's probably those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard, dabbling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them. Well, apparently it's neither of you idiots since you couldn't figure out how to press a button to get an elevator moving. Waiting for us to uh-oh. I think this qualifies for a story moment. Uh-oh. This is gonna fall, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh boy. Uh, Einstein, can you ha can you offer any advice? No? Okay then. Uh-oh. I hear alien noises. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, he's not fine. Uh, of course we have bulletproof glass. What am I, an idiot? Well, he's dead. Sheesh! Okay, can- can we go down now? Please. Okay, Einstein, you'll be fine. I will protect you. I promise. Oh, jeez. What's happening? Can- are we moving or not? Holy crap! Okay, well, that explains where the tram went. Um... Alright, well, this definitely qualifies as a story moment. And falling in five, four, three. Ah, I was two seconds off, okay. Alright, well, down we go! Where have we stopped? Nope. Buddy knows. Duty calls, evidently. Well, that's new music. And I've never seen those things even. How is that thing even eating? It has nothing but eyes for a face. Okay. Sorry, I'm liking the music. Alright. Bullets! What's it? I was shooting the air! Oh god, that guy got a gruesome death. Alright. Well, folks, now that we have picked up the iconic weapon of the series and we have our first story moment, I think that's a good place to stop. You know what? I think I may do the face cam thing for a while. I, I'm ha I have fun doing this. It's not. It's just kind of nice to. It's an. It's a new way to interact with you guys. I always enjoy that in uh, video in videos that use it. It's something else to look at when there's nothing else going on. When there's nothing else going on on screen. So with that said, um, 
hope you all enjoyed, and, uh, oh, need a... Need someone to recommend to you all. Oh, you know what? I got a perfect one for you. This was this recently came up. Uh, Shirley, Cur oh, I'm gonna I'm forgot her last name. Shirley Curry, I think. Um, if if I'm wrong, future me will will make the necessary changes. This is a I believe a 79 year old grandmother who loves video games. She put up her first Skyrim episode a few days ago, and she has exploded in popularity. And I just want to get some, get a little bit more out there about her, because she is awesome. She's been, she's put up another video since then, and it's awesome to see, it's awesome to see the older generation take interest in this kind of stuff. And she's pretty entertaining as well, so go check her out. She's pretty cool. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, leave a like and a comment down below to let me know. As I said before, it is the best way to let me know your thoughts. I will get an outro put together someday. The only part I know is this next one. And as always, y'all have a lovely evening, and I will see you next time. Um, yeah, Black Mesa still is a sucky place to work. Don't go there. Help.